In this basic tutorial, I'm going to show you how to simulate a popular camera motion technique called pan zoom. I want to show you just uh, an example of pan zooming that I did with an image uh, in a promotional video that I produced for an app that my wife and I created for the Miha Jasmine Learning Series. So in this particular video, we're basically uh, teaching you a few facts about Cinco de Mayo. And in the very beginning, let's see, you'll see that I begin with a title image and we do a pan zoom. I'll play it so you can see how it looks. Hola, hoy celebramos Cinco de Mayo, la batalla de Puebla. Today, we celebrate the 5th of May, the battle of Puebla. So now let's, uh, let's go over to Adobe Premiere. And as you can see, I've already imported my uh, Cinco de Mayo title slide, which is basically a still image that was created in Photoshop. So first thing you want to do is just pull that over to your timeline. And I'm just going to expand my timeline just a little here, just so that I can show you exactly uh, what I'm doing here with this clip. Now that we have our image on our timeline, let's select the clip and look in the effect controls. Here we want to place keyframes for position, scale, and rotation in the very beginning of the clip and also at the very end of the clip. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, go to the very beginning of the clip and click the toggle animation icons to create your first three keyframes for position scale and rotation at the very beginning of the clip. Now go to the end of the clip and click the add keyframe icon for position scale and rotation. Now that we have keyframes for position scale and rotation at the beginning of the clip and at the end, we can go ahead and create our pan zoom effect. Now let's position over to our first set of keyframes and the scale is already set to 100, rotation zero to position X is 960, Y is 540. So you can basically adjust these settings to your own preference, but I'm gonna just go ahead and just uh, scale up to about 146 and I'm gonna rotate it eh, about uh, 15 degrees. And just so I can get rid of that little white part in the image there and start with a clear image of the character in the title, let's just move this up on the Y axis just a little bit like so. All right, so that's my first keyframe. Now I can uh, click the go to next keyframe icon here and go to the very last keyframe. Let me go back one frame so I can see here what I have. I'm gonna set my position scale and rotation where I would like the image to be at the end of the pan zoom effect. So let me scale it down to about, about 75, should be good. And let's rotate it negative 15, like so, and adjust the Y axis so that the graphic of the character and title are centered on the screen. And uh, basically that's it. If you go to the beginning of your clip and hit the play button to preview, you'll see a really cool pan zoom effect, just like that. Super easy, amazing results. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful to you. If you have a question, just post a comment below. Also, Click the subscribe button for more.